H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus. One-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Hello everyone. Good evening. Uh, this is Gayatri here. Uh, could you please raise your hand or confirm if you can hear me? Please confirm if you can see my screen. I have. I'm sharing my screen. If you can see my screen, just confirm so that we can continue with the same. Okay. So today's class will be of these topics so i made a list of few topics so that it will be easy for us to start off before i start start with the uft tool so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this uh, session a bit easier so that it will help you to understand uft in a better way in my last class i shared the importance of automation what why how and the terminologies and advantages and disadvantages of UST before. And this is my second class. I'm going to present you a few topics before I start off with actual UFT technical topics or advanced concepts. I want you to understand these concepts so that it will be easy for us to start off. So before you understand UFT and programming, and all of that, there are quite three essential action or the function in which small functions are called into that particular function. So you call a particular function into main action one. So the main action or uh, action is called action one. So there are two types of actions. In UFT, we call functions uh, we call what what is the desired uh, the desired uh, action that can be performed or like login or logging in is a kind of uh, when you when you execute a script it logs in so you write an action to log in to an application so this logging in is called action there are two types of action, like I said, and this script, this uh, uh, this uh, this page of the PPT explains about that. So non-reusable action is an action that can be called only in a specific test in which it has to be designed and can be called only once. So non-reusable action can be uh, called only once or it cannot be called multiple times. You, you only use that action or you only use that Core, set of code when you need that. For example, there is a test case or uh, there is a manual test case or a test in which um, the if suppose if a manual test case is converted to a, a you know suppose if you start writing a automation script for one particular manual test case which is a scenario, a one manual scenario that you're going to test and you write an automation script for it. So that auto, that automation script is called action. And when you start writing an action for one particular test case, it is only specific for that particular test case or that particular scenario or the test case. Suppose if the test case, for example, if the test case exa explains you to explains, uh, suppose if the test case says, test one particular function to see if a login passes or login pass, login successfully passes into an application. Suppose if you can open that browser in Internet Explorer browser, open this browser and navigate into couple of pages and see if the navigation is possible. If this, if this is a scenario which has to be tested and action has to be written, then you write a set of code. I'll, I'll be showing you a couple of uh, 
scripts or a couple of scripts and explain you how a VB script looks in a particular UFT function. So in this today's class, I will show you few um, programs. I'm not sure how comfortable you all are with programs. I'm not sure about your programming skills. What is your uh, level of expertise in programming, particularly in VB script? But I'm going to introduce few set of instructions or few set, few set of few lines of code to make you get familiar with VB script and also use VB script in UFT. So I, in the uh, by the end of this session, I will show you a script which is which is executed in UFT and explain you the set of lines line by line which is in VB script and make you and help you understand VB script so that you can learn UFT. So while coming back to this reusable concept, reusable action, reusable action is one action which can be called multiple times to different test cases. It is not particularly specific for one test case like non-reusable action. Non-reusable action is test case specific. It can be used only in one test case. But reusable action is not like that. Reusable action can be called in different test cases, different scenarios, and that action or the function is common for different test cases. So you can use it in test case one, test case two, test case three in different scenarios. For example, reusable action, uh, example for reusable action can be login and logout feature. No matter what test case you're testing, login and logout action is common for all the test cases. To test, in order to test any feature in an application, login and logout is a must. So you, I can give you an example of login and logout uh, action, login and logout function, which is common. So that is reusable action. So like I said, actions help us divide test into logical units or business processes. So actions help create a script so in order to get familiar with action terminology in UFT, I'm just trying to describe it so that you will get used to the name action in UFT. Actions help create a script which is more modular and efficient. When a script is newly created, it consists of only one action. You need to remember this. Whenever we start scripting, there is one action into which we call different functions or load different functions or call different functions into the main action and that's how the script is being executed so we can add more actions into the main action depending upon the test case and scenario so i hope deepika narasimhan neha priyanka and shubha all of you all are uh, understanding what i'm trying to explain and get familiar with the concepts hope uh, i'm explainable and understandable for you please feel free to uh, ping your questions and I will answer each and every question for every concept that I cover. So moving to the next moving before I move to the next concept, which is frameworks, please confirm if you have understood action. And if you have any questions, you can raise your questions so that I can answer you all. Deepika Shubha. Neha, Priyanka, Narsimhan, do you have any questions? Hope you all can hear me. So before I move to the next concept, please confirm if you all can hear me. Please raise your hand at least so that I can move on to the next concept. OK, moving on to the next concept frameworks. I'm not really sure why uh, I'm not getting a response from uh, you all. Deepika Narasimhan. OK, I see Deepika and Shubha raising your hands. Thank you.
so just to give it uh, just to give it a try shubha can you hear me i have unmuted you could you just respond and let me know if you can you can hear me clear and understand i'm responding i'm responding okay okay, okay. thank you shubha okay thank you so uh, moving on to the next concept do do type your questions so that i can coordinate and okay next concept will be framework and types of frameworks so let me know if you are already aware of different frameworks or what you know about frameworks before i move ahead do you know anything about frameworks or is there anything you would like to say about frameworks neha hey shubha kaatri uh, can you hear me yes neha i can hear you you can go okay, i'm typing my questions are you able to see those uh well i guess there is some issue i'm not able to see. see the questions oh yes yes i can see the questions now i'm sorry okay. about that no yeah. problem thank no problem. you thank you thank you batting yeah okay let me respond to the questions i can now see your questions um Okay, Priyanka, if you can, uh, you're asking me to repeat in short and simple. That's okay. Okay, thank you, Priyanka. Let me just go ahead with the uh, session. Okay. So, framework. Uh, what I can tell you is that. when you when 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 you start scripting in uft you we do not understand the guidelines or how do we start off or is there any rule or how do we really start off with programming or how do we really uh, start coding in the uft tool in, in the action we don't know where to start off so in that case there is something called as frameworks it's a set of guidelines which we can follow during scripting so that we can create debug the scripts and execute the test cases or the scripts accordingly so there framework defines the guidelines or the important instructions where we can follow suppose uh, there are different kinds of framework depending upon what we are comfortable and and depending upon how the test cases are supposed to be so as you can see in the screen linear framework hybrid framework functional or decomposition framework data driven framework bpt framework and keyword driven framework so these are uh, the broadly classified six framework types that are available in uft so to start off with or to tell you which are the important ones uh, the most prominent or the most used frameworks are data driven framework keyword and bpt so bpt is a licensed or you need uh, alm for alm for that kind of framework but data driven and keyword driven frameworks are and also there and also few companies use hybrid hybrid framework very few and uh, to to be prominent the ones that are prominent are data driven and keyword driven framework moving on to each uh moving on to understand each different framework and what each different framework is um let's move to the next slide uh before i move to different do you, if you have any questions you can type in and i will address them calls just give me one second so that i can address the questions i'm just i'm just trying to uh read the questions of different 
uh, people so that I can answer one of, one by one. Okay, Neha. What uh, Neha is asking me? One second. Let me read out the question and and try to answer and clarify the questions before I move ahead. What does it mean when you say BPT uses ALM? Uh, Neha, I'm not sure if you have attended my previous class in uh, uh, previous my first class, which was the introductory class in UFT. Uh, BPT. Uh, let me brief. Let me in short answer your question. BPT is a kind of framework. BPT is a component-based framework which uses ALM or QC. ALM uh, is the tool by HP, which is a test test management tool, which is by HP, which is uh, a forum or which is a tool or the software or uh, which is a ALM software has all the test cases or manual test cases scenarios and all the scripts or BPT scripts which are available business process testing is or the BPT scripts are stored in ALM so to in order to uh, use the BPT framework the functions or the built-in functions are stored in ALM and ALM is the ALM or QC is the tool which stores the scripts we execute the scripts in ALM tool. So we connect the UFT tool to ALM and start executing the test, test cases in ALM or the QC uh, software or the tool. So, so and hence we need uh, ALM, for ALM or QC for BPT framework. So going forward uh, in my classes, I can explain and show you how BPT scripts are executed while connecting UFT into the uh, ALM or QC. I hope I answered your question, Neha. Can you let us know which are the framework used in which scenario? Sure. So I'll explain each different framework and uh, and tell you where exactly we use different uh, frameworks and different scenarios. Well, um, let me just explain each different framework and so that your your doubts are cleared. So coming back to first framework, it is it is a linear framework, QTP linear framework. It can also be UFT. QTP is former name and UFT. So when I say QTP or UFT, you need to get used to the fact that QTP or UFT is same, but just that QTP was the former name for UFT. So QTP or UFT linear framework. Linear framework is the most basic framework. What you do in linear framework is that there are different built-in functions. Uh, well, just to start off, uh, I'm going to introduce few built-in uh, functions or VB script functions or VB script keywords which are used in UFT so that you can get familiar and uh, get used to the uh, built-in functions and understand each and every use there are hundreds and hundreds of built-in functions well which are uh, to be known when you start using the tool you will get to know or you'll get familiar familiarized with the um, built-in functions or keywords so to uh, to had to tell you in uh, short about the linear framework this you start writing the program in one action so this is the most basic framework and it's nothing complicated. What you do is you write all your code in one action, in one page itself, line by line, line by line. It will be a very big and all the functions will be in, in only one action and it's a uh, in linear fashion. When you know, when you say, when I say linear, it's all written in one line. So right from the beginning to end, it's all one action or one line. I'll show you how an action looks in my uh, here by going forward so that you can understand what action is and what what it is when i say scripts are written in one line fashion to tell you uh, just to show you how an action or a linear fashion program looks uh, you can you can just look into this screen which i'm showing you right now uh, this in this program if you observe the scripts are written in one action itself so these scripts are written just in one page. So line one, two, three, and it goes on till 100, 
150, and it can even go to 500,000 lines of code as you write on. So if you once you keep writing the uh, script, it goes on. So this is linear fashion and linear framework. So this is the basic most framework. The second one is functional or decomposition framework. With this framework, what you what you need to do is uh, with this framework, you write the entire code into different functions and then you call these functions wherever required. So these functions can be both reusable and non reusable. When I said actions in the first uh, concept of this class, uh, this is what I meant when I said non reusable and reusable functions. So in decomposition framework, what we do is that we call different functions like initially login is required. If you if you can see here in this script, just to show you in just to make you understand this, this uh, what you do is this is login. Uh, login is not mentioned here, but when when you when we normally log into uh, an application, like let's say, uh, uh, don't don't just freak out with these lines of code. I'll make it simple and very easy for you going forward. I wanted to explain a few uh, web elements, and that's the reason I have written this code for for you to understand it in a better way. So going forward, I'll make it easy. Just don't freak out looking at these many lines of code. Uh, just so just look into this login here just to explain you the uh, second type of framework which is decomposition framework I just wanted to uh, make you understand what is a decomposition framework what happens is non reusable and reusable function I'll tell you what is a reusable function so this part of code this is a kind of universal uh, I, I can say it's a common piece of code if you are a, if you are a UFT programmer you will understand that this piece of code is pretty common in uh, scripting the in scripting or when you start scripting in UFT so this these lines of code this these lines of co code are when I say login I just didn't want to just make it like theoretical I wanted you to understand when I said what what exactly is a login function in UFT and so I'm showing you these lines of code so this is login these lines of codes are login. So in particular, I, let me highlight this. Th these lines of code, this is called login function. So these lines, if you can look into it, I'll explain it to you the each uh, keyword like exist, dialogue, and the loop structures and how it works in going forward in the classes going forward. I'll make sure that it is pretty simple for you so that you can learn. Um, I do use ALM in my company. Neha says that she uses ALM in your company. That means I want to integrate QTP with ALM. Uh, I need to use VPT framework. Exactly. So there is an option. If you have attended my previous classes, uh, I'll answer your question in the end of this class, Neha. Yes, there is an option called QTP or ALM connection, uh, ALM or QC connection in the UFT tool. Where you can do is you provide your credentials in the ALM in your uh, UFT and connect your tool to you uh, connect your UFT tool to ALM to use or to start coding in VPT framework. Uh, well, my area of expertise is in UF uh, in uh, in VPT framework. Uh, I'm a B, uh, my I have used VPT framework uh, in my company. That's a pretty complicated one, and uh, uh, an expertise can use this BPT framework. Uh, I'm well. I have used a couple of framework. One was my company framework. Um, I have. I'm a former Capgemini employee. So in my company, there was uh, secure uh, payment applications which we used in my company. So uh, to uh, to automate or to Automate the this application. We used VPT framework, so we used uh, all the scripts in ALM. We stored all the scripts as components in A ALM, and then we connected it. That's how it goes on. I'll explain you VPT framework in the next Neha. So just uh, I'll tell you the VPT framework when I come to that framework part. So just to explain, this is the uh, login function. This is the reusable function. This is an example for reusable function. You can use it multiple times for different test cases and uh, for uh, any script that you use here. So when I say 
uh, I hope I can. Uh, when I say, I uh, let me explain it in detail. So when I start writing scripts like line one, two, and then three. When I start writing, this is action one. What I do is uh, first I call login and then I do a certain number of steps. And then in the end, what I do is I log out. So logging in and logging out are common, which are used just to give you simple examples to understand in the uh, decomposition framework. You write the entire code of functions and, you, and then you call these functions whenever you require. And these function can be reusable or non reusable. Just to explain you, lo login and logout are common or reusable functions. This can be called in this main action one. This is called action one. This is called action one. And the set of uh, the set of code that you write between login and logout, these are non reusable depending upon your test cases. Suppose if your test case has a particular scenario for a flight reservation, that is a very basic program, which all the channels in the YouTube uses to explain uh, concepts in UFT. So these scripts that you write here in between according that is de depending upon the test case that is non reusable. These two are reusable. So to explain, I hope you understand the uh, non. Un I, I, I hope you understood decomposition framework. Data driven framework is a type of framework in which data is kept separate from the code, preferably in Excel files. This is this helps you to execute the same code for multiple sets of data. If you have attended my previous class, I have explained data driven framework in simple and short. What happens is particularly the main uh, the main uh, prominent feature of this framework is that data is stored in Excel and it is called into your functions whenever a function is called after the login feature. OK, I'll, I have a simple question to log in to the to an application. What are the parameters that you call or what are the inputs that you put user in user ID password and uh, uh, user ID password? And if there is any uh, domain you log into, like if you have used ALM, you will know that you will know the particular project or domain you log into. You select that project accordingly. So you put you in you input different parameters like login, logout, which is used in this. If you make a note of this, you use uh, not this one. Yeah, if you uh, make a note of this uh, uh, code, this is the password. This is actually encrypted. I'll tell you the concept of encryption when I come to login feature when I use the script and show you. So you so the parameters like uh, user ID and password. This is the password and user ID. We save these two in an Excel sheet and then pass that Excel sheet into this action. We call it into this action so that you can give your names like uh, Neha or Shubha and then your password. And when you run this script, it calls out your names from the data table, fetches it from Excel sheet and then calls. So that is the example for data driven framework. Moving on to the next framework, which is keyword or data driven framework. In this type of framework, you can create different keywords associated with different actions to these keywords. When QTP encounters a particular framework, it will execute the action associated with the framework. This uh, framework is importantly known as table driven or spreadsheet or action word based framework. In this, the, the, uh, the important feature of this is it is table driven framework. So or you can say if you are familiarized with spreadsheet, then uh, you will understand this kind of framework Key in keyword driven framework. Mainly there are functions or function uh, actions which are written, which has different keywords like I can show you uh, keywords right now. I do not have it have it handy, but I'm coming back when I it, when I show you and run the scripts and UFT and show you I will show you how this function scripts look exactly looks like and how you call them. So what we do to give you an example, what we do is in the uh, keyword driven framework, when I talk about theory and practical, it's totally different. 
So when I explain a theory, you might feel it blank when I show you practically. So I would like to show more the practical than theory. My theory, I don't want to make it boring. So this is just an introduction before I want to start up and use the tool so that you will get familiarized yourself with the different concepts and terminologies. So when I say key or a table driven framework, an action or function has full, a full a list of statements or code in which you start using the this action whenever you 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 try to import that function into your uft and then you start using the uft that's how you uh, start using this framework you use this table or a spreadsheet or action which has a lot of scripts or a lot of uh, a lot of lines of code you use that and you import that and then you start scripting so th that is called keyword driven framework moving on to the next one QTP or hybrid framework. QTP or hi uh, hybrid framework is a kind of framework in which two or three types of frameworks are combined. Like, for example, you may combine linear and decomposition framework. Or what you can do is you may, uh, in the hybrid framework, you can start scripting in linear fashion. And then after certain lines of code, you, can, you may start calling different functions in the same linear code. You can call, you can give a give call, and you can load that a call or function into that and in uh, in the uh, going forward you can call different functions and you can that's how you can um, combine two or three frameworks and that's called a hybrid framework so it's a combination of one or more frameworks which are discussed about based on the requirements you can either start writing the code and call the excel sheets or you can even pull out the excel sheets and uh, uh, or you can even parameterize in the same function it is a combination of different frameworks, basically. So the resultant framework would be called a hybrid framework. I hope you understood this. Um, so the last one is business process framework. I would like to show this kind of framework to you so that it will be helpful in company when you start working yourself. So this is a kind of framework which is very good, which is organized. It is complicated. I agree. I understand that. but. Uh, what I would like to say is this is the kind of framework which expertizes use. It's not that very complicated, but you need ALM credentials or you need authentication for ALM to start using this. So um, Deepika, you would want to share the recording of my of the first class. Sure, Deepika, just leave your email ID so that I can mail my first uh, presentation for you. Uh, going forward, I would like to ask you to uh, attend the classes regularly so that you don't miss the concepts when I explain so that I don't have to spend extra time to explain the concepts. So uh, please make sure to attend all my uh, sessions so that we, we, we don't miss the classes here after to understand concepts. I hope I'm clear and I'm able to make you understand everybody has a different, uh, uh, what do you say, perception or different uh, level of understanding. What I say you may not understand, please feel free to contact or ask questions and I will sure definitely answer the questions and move on. So DPT framework, we can divide the test case into different components. DP, the name of the business process testing framework itself is it is component based framework. When I say component based framework, it is business process. Just remember this term component it is very important. I will show you different components, how it is stored in um uh, alm or qc or i i will show you component is just a function just like action so you, you so you save different actions in different file formats in alm and start executing those and start calling uh, what you do is you call each component like login co login is one component login uh, logout is one component you save it in alm you start calling these components separately and execute them in action i'll show you in how it is done in alm so this is business process testing framework so these are the six types of testing frameworks uh, so concept of framework is done i don't want to bug you all with a lot of theory concepts with uh, theory concepts so I would really want you uh, to put your hands into a uh, uh, practical and VB script and understand the functions and, you know, really start coding. So I have uh, before I wind up this class, I will sh I will I don't want to wind up the class without any uh, 
keywords or you know built-in functions i wanted to uh, finish this but since i joined in late i, I could i'm not able to but i'll make sure that i'll uh, let me just uh, explain a couple of vb script concepts and uh, a little static programming and how it is done and introduce that and then uh, and then wind up this class i'll explain the small program so that we can uh, in the next class i can take up the concepts to make you understand so uh, my next a concept will be VB script and how it is used in UFT. I have a lot to say. Uh, this is not just this is just a small uh, slide that I have put, but I have really a lot of uh, concepts to tell you and make you understand. In VB script, I'm not sure how many of you all know VB script here. I uh, I have used Java and Selenium, but I'm not sure how many of you know uh, are familiar with VB script. There are a few things that you need to remember when it comes to uh, VB script, like creating a variable, assigning a constant to a variable, different types of variables, just to brush up. Also, I would like to, uh, I will be giving you small tips for which will be helpful for you. I suggest you all to uh, brush up if you really want to brush up concepts yourself, I don't want you to rely on me. I want you to uh, visit this website called W3 Schools. I will, I'll keep you, I'll keep giving you different different websites so that you can refer them and go through uh, basic basic uh, on concepts which are basic wise. So W3 Schools, I'm not sure if you are aware of this. W3 Schools. It gives it. It really is a very good forum to learn or a website to learn concepts when it comes to different languages or programming languages please raise, uh, please go through this w3 schools and learn the concepts if you want i can even show you um, different concepts vb scripts but try to brush up and then come to the class so that ask questions try yourself different uh, questions uh, different concepts or script uh, or keywords and then come back to the class so that it will be interactive and not theory wise this will be the last theory class probably and in the next class I'll, I, i'm sure i'll start with the programming right away i'll show you log in and log out how it is done in uft in the next class and we can move on so vb script functions in w3 schools please say please tell me if you can see my screen yeah i can uh, i hope you can see my screen so um yes priyanka maybe I, you will understand better when you show in the tool yes i'm very i'm actually glad to show you in the tool but before i uh, tell before i show you the tool uh, this is how it looks actually priyanka for this is for you this is how this is qtp but uft is a little advanced than this this is how qtp looks and i will show you real programming i will make you execute them in the next class and make you understand are we going to get the UFT tool? Deepika, for your answer, I have answered this in last class. The UFT is a very, uh, UFT is a free trial uh, tool. You can even download it from here. Let me show you. Down, you can, it's a, it, is a, it has a free version of 60 days of free trial. You can understand and try yourself accordingly so you can get, you can learn or not. Uh, so uh, this, download your, UFT in the Microfocus website. Uh, I'm I'm running short of time. I would love to show you, but uh, in the Microsoft Focus UFT download page, just try to. Um, I have it in one of the mails. I'll share it to you. Uh, in this website, go to this web website, and then try to download the setup exe. If you have any doubts, just Mail, uh, mail the microfocus guys, and they, one of the representatives will help you to do it. So um, that's how you uh, try to do with the UFT tool, uh, install the UFT tool, and learn yourself. Uh, for example, I'm running short of time. I would love to do this, but uh, I I wanted a couple of more concepts to be done, but uh, it's okay. That's all right. So I'll tell you two or three. Uh, commands or the uh, commands or uh, I can show you commands or keywords in that are used. So the basic the one that we use in UFT is systemutil.run. Systemutil.run is the command that is used to open a browser in UFT. Systemutil.run and then double codes the name of the browser which is like for example I Explorer or Internet Explorer and then comma and then enter the uh, URL in the 
uh, uh, next and try to hit enter you will and execute the script in uft so that it will open a browser and it will open a browser and that's how you start a small program in the uh, uft so uh, so let me just quickly how about the hp alm tool deepika alm is licensed version of uh, alm is li a licensed version from hp uh, uh, sh uh, sure i'll share the link to download uh, this let me share this link so that you can download this tool yourself this is the link that is used to download your ft i would uh, i like i like it if you can install and give it a try and hands on a little bit so that whatever i share you can try alternatively and understand so this is the um, this is the uh, there are two types of programming before i start off programming this dynamic or descriptive programming or static descriptive programming static descriptive programming has few keywords and you can it is pretty simple and i can show you uh, i'll show you static uh, i'll show you a few examples of static descriptive programming dynamic descriptive programming has different uh, keywords like dim you try to create object assign variables into that and that's a little complicated but i will show you dynamic descriptive pro programs too to start off uh, i'll just start with one small program example for static descriptive programming and then continue hereafter so this is one hierarchy in the next class i'll be covering up browser objects and and different ones so you can just have a look into this if you want i'll share the ppt and we can continue in the next class uh, quickly if you have any questions we can continue this in next class and then you can have questions on on a one on one basis and let me know um so to to just move quickly and answer uh, i hope you all have received the link to download uft uh, if if that link doesn't work just let me know and i can uh, help you try try to do a little uh, rnd and install the uh, uft so how about uh, if you have any questions shubha well let me share this uh, share it with you just uh, just a second full installation package with add in exe file you can to i'm sending it again shubha Uh, can you please share your first e meeting? My email ID is sure Neha. I'll make a note of it and I'll try to mail it to you. Okay. Um, what you can do is I don't have an account of your email IDs. Just try to. I'm sharing my email ID here so that uh, just just send me a mail so that. Uh, i can reply back and send you my first presentation confirm if you have got my uh, email id i send it to all of you all i'm not sure if my first session was recorded deepika i'm uh, but neha uh, okay akm if do you have any question Deepika, please share the recording. Mm, I'm not sure. You need to get in touch with the H2K uh, uh, folks for that. Share your first meeting email ID. Neha Sagar at gmail dot com. So I'll try to make a note of your email ID and share it with you, Neha. So it's time to end up this class. If you have any questions, what is invisible AKM? Okay, let me unmute you so that I can talk to you directly. Okay, AKM. I have unmuted you. I'm not sure about your name. You can go ahead yeah. and tell me if you yeah. have any. Yeah. Yes, like uh, I am uh, seeing you, but uh, my screen is invisible. That's why I was confused that uh, I read my text on. That. 
No problem. Uh, what do you need? Do you need the link? No, I got the link and your email ID. So. OK, yes. did you receive my email ID? Do you want me to send it to you? No, I got it. I got OK, thanks. thanks. So any more questions? I'm winding up the class for today. Um, not sure when my next class is going to be. It will be maybe most probably tomorrow or Thursday accordingly. Uh, so please get in touch with the training at H2K guys to schedule this. I'm winding up this class with today's uh, this one. So also I will, if you need this PPT or if you want to try yourself these uh, programs or I wanted to explain, but I'll continue in the next class. I have a next uh, session to, I have another uh, mock session to be conducted. So I'm winding up with this. I'll continue in the next class. Please attend it regularly, download UFT, and that's all I have to, that's all I can tell you. Have a good evening, and do mail me if you have any questions, and I'll get back to you after the class, and uh, I answer your questions. Thank you, everybody.